the amount of volume that flows through Change Healthcare encompasses a large majority of the United States. Our network spans hundreds of thousands of providers, tens of thousands of insurance companies. We're talking about billions of claims flowing through our network on a monthly basis. We've been focusing on artificial intelligence pretty heavily over the past two years to build out not just machine learning solutions that might improve or enhance a business, but we really want to take it across the entire platform and, and how can we truly make it artificial intelligence. There's a lot of room within healthcare to use AI just to make the entire experience much better. We've deployed quite a few applications around AI that have leveraged H2L in particular. We've done things in particular around denials. Whenever a hospital system receives a denied claim, how do we go through and prioritize which claims are most likely to be reworked? Using H2L, we've developed solutions that look to basically identify who in a member population is at risk for a high cost procedure. Can we target those individuals and provide the right information at the right time to help those members not just find the lowest cost procedure, but the highest quality procedure? And for us, H2O has been the driver of building those models out at scale. We're talking about millions of members of claims. You can't do this with standard, off-the-shelf, machine learning, open source techniques. H2O is the only solution that can do it for us. In the past, it was entirely possible that you were working a claim that just had no chance of ever being eventually accepted by an insurance company. Using H2O, we're able to build out models that said, anytime you select a claim to work, we know within a certain tolerance of the probability that you're going to be successful and what the actual value of the claim is. As we learn about the product roadmap and the different features that are being added, who's going to be the first to win the GPU race? For machine learning, H2O was the clear winner to us. Things like driverless AI and AutoML hit home for us because that's our exact mission is that we want to be able to iterate as quickly as we can. We don't want to spend our time trying different hyperparameters and we definitely want to be able to use tools that are fully integrated where we don't have to touch things. Driverless AI is a really good example of having you know, a Docker solution that we don't have to fiddle with anything. It's just ready to go on the GPU. For us in particular, that's one of our most important things that we're looking for as we're developing our AI strategy moving forward. Using driverless AI, we know we're going to hit the latest and greatest techniques, not just as a buzzword, but because they actually do work better.